Hi guys, so I'm literally crazy, which means that I'm obsessed with the possibility of getting one of these Amanita mushrooms and one of these mushroom boxes. So I've just gotten off work at the tea house and I am on my way into Kinokuniya Books where I have just pulled up and I'm gonna get some mushroom boxes. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna open them in the car and we're gonna see what happens. And I haven't totally decided. I might, if I don't get an Amanita, I might go right back in there and buy some more. I'm already here. I've already gone this far. Sunk cost fallacy all the way. Okay, here we are. I'm going in. Here they are. Look, it's here. See, this is the one I was talking about. Did you need a bag? It feels light. I haven't gotten any light ones yet. 30, 29. This is the mushroom song Which mushroom will I get? Will I get the Amania? Oh, just another rotten egg Open it and go take it I'm a go take it Matsu take it Come take it mushroom Oh my gosh, I want you guys to have good lighting, but I also need to be able to see. Is this a workable compromise? I think so. So obviously I am literally insane, not because I'm seeing portals or bug entities, but because I can't fucking stop buying mushroom blind boxes. I want the Amanita, guys. I want the Amanita. I know. I know. I know. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, well, we're gonna open them because we gotta know what's in them. This is the first one. <laughs> I'm so ridiculous, guys. I've always wanted to open blind boxes and I finally, I've never like into the things that they make blind boxes for and finally they make, oh, mother fuck. Another fucking egg, another fucking egg. All right, let's remember what that one feels like. What does it feel like? Cause I don't want any more eggs after this. I'm gonna learn to love my first egg Okay, it feels like a chunky thing. Reasonable, I should have known. This one feels much lighter. I should bring my egg one in there and um, like feel it up next, like compare it to the other ones. Oh, okay. Oh, we got the, I think it's a porcini. I think it's porcini. Let's open it up guys. This was my, ah! Oh, it's like soft and gooey. It's way softer than the other ones. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's way light and foamy. See, the light can be dis, dis, uh, dis, um, uh, uh. The weight can be misleading. Oh my God, it took me like eight minutes to find that word. Oh, this one is so cute. Oh, it's so this one's like squish like a squishy like a foam stress ball squishy the one on my keychain where is it where's my keys i got into the car somehow yeah this is like way harder this is like it's still like flexible rubber but it's like harder and this one is like a soft squishy oh my god it actually it feels like a mushroom oh i'm glad okay well at least i got the trumpet that's cute Okay, so we feel good about the light one, so maybe the Amanita is a really light one. Let's find out what this one is. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. Ah, yes! Not the Amanita, but this is another one I wanted. Okay. Ah, I got the little cluster one. Oh! The little cluster one is so cute. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you what they're called in Japanese, too. This one is called Eringi. Eringi, and this one is Nameko. And we're gonna pull that little tag off. And we talked about the egg one before, which I've already, I like boxed it back up, yeah. This is Tamagotake, is the egg one. And this one I think was Matsutake? No, the other one I got that's on my rear view. Can you see it? Can you see that now? Ah, I'm gonna break everything. 
Here it is in my last video. He's a cutie pie. Okay, well the one I got two of last time was called the Matsutake. This one's called the Gantake. Gantake. And then, ah, I got a Nameko and an Eringi. Oh, they're so cute. They're gonna be so happy on my rear view mirror together. Okay, this one's really lightweight too. This might be another trumpet. Eringi, whatever. It is. It is another. Oh, I've only got one more, guys. Am I gonna get the Amanita? Am I gonna get it? Okay, well, I'm not gonna open that one for you right now. Okay, send me good wishes. Oh, it's the little button one. See, this one's harder again, like the, like the first guy. Okay, so I didn't get an Amanita. But I did get three more new ones to add to my collection. And um, I'm not gonna lie, we're this far in. I'm going back in there. I'm gonna get a few more boxes. I gotta try, man. It's gonna eat me up alive if I don't. Okay, it's like a big chunk. Don't get any that feel like that. Got it. Okay, oh, what do we think the Amanita is gonna feel like? I can't think this through, guys. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna stop filming. Okay, guys. I'm back with four more. The people who work there and me are literally friends now. I let them touch all my fun mushrooms. They had a lot of fun. <laughs> one of these feels different than the ones that I've gotten before. This one, like this one could be anything. I'm, I'm still, at this point, I'm just trying to complete my collection because the only ones I haven't gotten yet are this one and this one. And this one is what I've been trying to get this whole time. And this one's really cute too. So right now I have two of these, two of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, two of these, and none of either of these two. So I've got four more boxes here. This one, it better not be a fucking egg. It feels like either this one or this one or maybe another one of these. We'll see. It also, it could be an egg. I... I don't think it's an egg, but I could be wrong, man. Then this one feels taller and harder than the other ones I've gotten so far. This one, it feels like the tallest. Like it hardly shakes up and down at all and it doesn't shake side to side at all. So this is the one that feels different that I'm thinking might be the Amanita. We're gonna open it last. Okay, and then, okay, let's just open this one. Oh, now I'm here, everything feels like an egg. It didn't in the store though. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, this is so high pressure. I've done this to myself. I've completely done this to myself. Sean warned me against this. It's another fucking Tamagotake. Curse of the egg mushroom. All right, let's see what this one is. This one feels, I don't know, big and tall and hard rubber, not soft. See, the lightest one so far was one of the two biggest. It was the, the Oringi. <gasps> ah! I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, how many have I opened so far? Three eggs, two Eringi, two Matsutake, one Namiko, one Mushroom, one Gantake. This is my 11th one. 11th time is the charm, guys. Okay, let's open it up. <laughs> oh, but it's so worth the joy in the end. It's so worth the joy. Oh, it's like way taped shut. We're just breaking the bag on this one, guys. Ah! Oh, it's so perfect. Oh, look at that. Is it focused? I literally like can't tell what you guys are even seeing. Do 
can you see that it's so perfect it's so beautiful it's so fairy tale it's everything I ever wanted in a mushroom blind box Thank you, mushroom gods. Actually, speaking of mushroom gods, did you know that the Amanita is actually associated with Odin? Fascinating, because the number 11 is also associated with Odin. Um, it's because, well, I don't know about the 11 thing, but the Amanita thing, or maybe I just associate 11 with Odin. Maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know if that's a historical thing, but the Amanita is definitely a historical thing because uh, probably several reasons. Well, I know that uh, Sleipnir, his eight-legged horse, uh, Amanitas were said to spring up from the ground wherever Sleipnir's mouth froth saliva hit the ground. Um, but then also, the Amanita, I think, is said to be like one of the, uh, possibly like the origin for the colors of Santa Claus and like so I guess, I think it was in Siberia. I have to link an article about this. But I think I read that Siberian shamans would, so like the Amanita, it's not the same, it's not like a psilocybin mushroom, but it is, like it does have other, um, I don't think it's exactly psychedelic, but it does have some sort of properties that made it a mushroom of choice for shamans to use on their shamanic on their journey but i'm pretty sure that siberian shamans um would take would like go and gather amanita mushrooms and then they would deliver them like gifts to townspeople uh, like and <laughs> they would actually do this through a hole in their roof um which was just kind of like how they had access and um so literally, you know, a guy would climb up on your roof and drop presents of red and white Amanita mushrooms down, um, down the hole in the roof. Okay, so I read up on this a little more and I am now more able to give you a clear and educated synopsis of this history of the Amanita, um, which is that, yes, I was right, Siberian shamans um, would go and gather the Amanita from the woods, and actually they would often wear, um, like, ceremonial red and white garb, or red garb with white trim, um, to do this collecting, and some of them still do, and they would dry them often over the fireplace, and <laughs> uh, kind of hang them like a garland, and I think I read somewhere that they would actually eventually then be like delivered in stockings for uh, like a ceremonial holiday shamanic journey. And um, the hole in the roof thing is because they did have like normal doors in their houses, but often in the winter the snow drifts were so much that the regular entry to the house was completely blocked off and you couldn't use the front door so you would have to use um, this like hole in the roof that they had for entry and exit in the winter to get in and out of the house and so kind of like Santa going down the chimney bring presents but different kind of presents and um, that's at least maybe not the only possible origin story for Santa Claus but definitely my favorite one there's a whole bunch of information about the Amanita mushroom that you never asked for. Also, it's possible that like, because mushroom caps are kind of like hoods, and one of Odin's names is Grimnir, or like the hooded one, and hoods, like part of wearing a hood is like traveling in disguise, sure, fine, but then part of wearing a hood is like to cloak yourself and like create like a safe, dark space around yourself. Exhibit A. Um, so that like you're shutting out the outside world while you go on a journey in your mind and also mushrooms have little hoods i don't know i might just be making stuff up now i'm so excited guys but you heard me scream you know i'm so excited ah, okay well let's see what else i got because there's still two more to open oh, can i hang it somewhere where you can see it not really no okay i'm so excited i'm so excited I'm so happy. <laughs> I've never been this happy about a mushroom in my life. That might not be true. I fucking love eating mushrooms. Like the kind you like cook and eat in food. Okay. 
We got another mushroom mint, another little white button mushroom. Um, I'm not gonna open it right now. It's one of these. Still cute. That's like the kind you eat, right? Yeah. The kind I eat sometimes. Although I tend to eat uh, Cremin Creminelli? Baby Bella? Creminelli? Is that what they're called? Little baby ones. Brown. Baby Portobello mushrooms. Oh! I completed my collection! This is the one that I thought fit. Whoa! What the? What? Oh, this one has a cone to help it keep its shape? Oh my goodness. It's like see-through. It is see-through. Kind of. Can you see that? I There's so much glare, I literally can't see what you guys can see. Like, I can't. I can tell that I'm in frame, but I can't tell if anything's in focus. Um, maybe I'll just get, <laughs> I'm gonna get some different footage of these. Oh, I completed my collection! Okay, let's show you guys the full collection of Mushroom Friends. Okay, I'm gonna learn to love the Tamagotake, guys. I'm gonna have to learn to love it, because I've got like three of the little fuckers right now. I'm getting like really close to being able to monetize my YouTube channel, but then I realized that I curse all the fucking time and that like a lot of advertisers don't want to put their content on um, six. Which ones am I missing? I know I'm missing, oh, the one that's on my mirror. Okay, now the only other one is the one that's on my keys. Oh right, which are running my car right now. Turn the car off. I had to turn my car on because when I tried to have it off before, um, I, I left my phone on in my car while I went to go buy more mushroom boxes. And it said that my phone was too hot to operate and I needed to let it cool down. Okay, you know what I'm actually going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's all eight of them. This is my collection. Um, I can't use this as my thumbnail, unfortunately, because that would give away the fact that I got the one I really wanted. Well, I'm actually going to go back into Kinokuniya, not to buy anything this time, just to show off my fully complete collection of mushrooms like the insane mushroom maniac I am. Um, what can I say? I can't, but um, I feel like the people who sold me these things deserve to know that I got what I wanted and I completed my mission. And I feel like they deserve to see the Amanita in person. So we're just gonna go show them. Mushroom hands. So of course, the shopkeepers were thrilled to know that I got everything that I wanted. They asked to touch all the different mushrooms, which of course, why not? They're fun to touch. And um, thus ends our story and our time together today. Thank you for watching possibly the stupidest video I've ever made and for supporting me throughout my mushroom obsession by watching, liking this video, commenting your favorite mushroom below, obviously. If you need a refresher, worry not. We've got the Eringi, the, I don't know what the fuck this one's called. Gantake, the Matsutake, the Tamagotake, Namiko, Namiko Mushroom, and I don't know what they call the Amanita on the box, but obviously it's the Amanita. We're all friends here. We're gonna be friends now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I know, I know I'm insane, but it's gonna be okay. My obsession is over now. I got what I wanted, so I can, I can quit. I can stop anytime I want to. I just didn't want to until now, but now I can stop. Anyhow, if you want to be, and you're not already, please subscribe by taking the little button below. Usually I make more 
savvy and intellectual content than this. Um, usually I make like witchy content, witch vlogs. You know, this was a little bit of a witch vlog. You got a little bit of history of the Amanita. But that's the sort of thing I usually make, but um, every now and then we have to throw in a mushroom blind box unboxing because girls just wanna oh have fun. God. Oh, girls just wanna have fun. I'm gonna actually head home now, and um, I'll see you all very soon. I am coming out with that. Actually, I'll probably release the portal vlog first, so you'll probably be seeing this after I've already released the portal vlog, in which case, if you're watching this because you came here to watch a blind box unboxing and you're like, what the fuck is a portal vlog? You'll have to watch my other video to find out. Anyhow, thank you for hanging out with me today and having lots of fun opening mushroom blind boxes. I will post the link to these below as well if you want to purchase these on Amazon for yourself and try your luck at getting your favorite mushroom. And uh, I hope you all have a magical, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys around very, very soon. Mm -hmm.